Hello everyone and welcome to our Return to Magical Diary. This time we're going to be doing Donald's Route, right? Yes. So let's get this underway. New game. And since we're beginning again, we might as well remake our character, shall we? Oh, you want to do this? Here, first name first. Not that it really matters. Oh, oh no, Caps Lock. <laughs> Caps Lock has betrayed us, no. All right, let's try this again. Do you want me to do it? It might be more comfortable for me because I'm closer, but okay. Now you've done skip. Okay, hold on. <laughs> God damn it! That went completely awry. <laughs> there. All right, we finally managed to do the name. Now, do you want to tell me what the style was? Because I don't remember. That. Oh, it was that one that we passed by? And what was the color? Purple. That one. It was that one. Yes. Our face type was three. Yes. Right. Yes. And uh, hold on a second here. Eye color. Is that right? I it's think it might be. It's kind of similar to what we... I think we had. Oh, Maybe it's that, more like that. That's it. I think that might be it. It's close yes. enough anyway. It doesn't need to be perfect. Um, skin yeah, color. Yeah, someone was telling us the things, and I think skin was three. Yes. And body was two. Yes. Uh, we might not have gotten the eye color perfectly, but honestly, I think it's close enough. And it's close enough to begin, so let's get going again. All right. So, I guess you read this part, right? <laughs> yes, it the is Harry Horace. Potter intro. It all started about three years ago on my 13th birthday. Oh, what started? I was playing tag in the back garden with my friends, but when I tried to jump out of the way of the girl who was chasing me, I jumped so high that I flew all the way over oh, yeah, the hedge. I remember this part. And then her friends just tossed it out of their memory <laughs> just like that. At first, I couldn't believe it was real. No one else could either. Within a few minutes, they'd all convinced themselves that nothing unusual had happened. Then the next day, a strange old woman showed up at my doorstep to offer me the choice for my future. It was the female Hagrid. And now, here I am, 16 and on my way to Iris Academy, an actual school for magic. The school lies in a hidden valley in the Green Mountains, about 150 miles from my home in New Hampshire. My parents drove me out here, but we've already said our goodbyes. I asked them to drop me off at the outskirts of the school ground so I could walk the rest of the way on my own. I knew Dad would cry and make a fuss over me before letting me go, and I didn't want my new classmates to see me for the first time looking like that. You know, I'm not sure if it's one of these scenes here, but I remember one of these uh, backgrounds is very similar to an area you see in uh, Date Warp as well. Ah, yeah. Actually, I'm surprised Dad agreed. He's always been a little overprotective. Maybe he's finally recognizing that I'm not a little kid anymore. Well, thanks, Dad, at long last. Anyway, it means I have to carry my own suitcases, which contain all that I have to my name for the next nine months. I don't think you guys realize how excited we are to play this again. This is really <laughs> awesome. Something besides Dandelion. Oh, how yes. relaxing. Even the music. So much better. <laughs> Not many clothes because we'll be wearing school uniforms all the time. But I have some books, pictures of my friends and family, and decorations for my new room. Yeah, decorations that we never put up. There it is! Up ahead! The campus looks more like a very posh boarding school than a home for wizards and witches. I feel like all these boarding schools are very posh in these games. I think it was the same during Katawa Shoujo as well. Well, what boarding school isn't posh? <laughs> it's just a running theme. Um, pretty buildings, lots of trees and wide open spaces. Summer is still lingering here. The leaves haven't yet started to turn. I walk a little faster, feeling slightly too warm in this long robe and cape. Uh-oh. Flower beds and arches stretch out around me. So many doors and windows, and they all look the same. There are three residential halls for girls and three for boys. I've been accepted to Horse Hall, which is for adventurous girls, whatever that means. <laughs> yeah, it means we're getting back in the saddle once again. The other two girl halls are the Butterflies, who are probably girly girls, and the Snakes. I'm not sure who would want to be a snake. I'd much rather be a horse. Unfortunately, I'm not sure exactly where Horse Hall is. Yeah, we don't want to be those tunnel snakes now, do we? I have a letter about freshman orientation. Where did I put it? I look oh, down at no. my suitcases while I walk, trying First to remember mistake. which pocket I stuck the letter into, when suddenly... Oh. I bump into someone. Someone. Oops, sorry. He's an older man in school robes with no hall symbol on them, which means he's probably a professor. This is not a good first impression. Sorry, sir. Ah, a new student I see. And what might your name be? He has a lovely voice, dark and rich with a refined... British accent. Yeah, or not. And he doesn't version. seem to be too angry with me. I relax a little. Horace Harrington, sir. I just got here and I'm not sure where I'm supposed to be. My voice trails off as I notice he's no longer looking at me. Instead, he's paging through the large book he was carrying. Miss Harrington, is it? Wildseed? How unsurprising. 
Wild? More than likely a complete waste of my time. You have no idea how much you've been given, and you will throw it all away. He scribbles something into the book, then slams it shut. Jeez, talk about first impressions. Ten demerits. Not a promising start. Oh. Pay more attention to your studies than you do to where you're walking, Miss Harrington, or you'll find yourself expelled from this academy before the new year. Jeez, it was just like one little bump. Calm down. Ugh. With a snap of like his, his bumps. With a snap of his wrist, he wraps his cape around himself and stalks away. <laughs> of course, he'd have a cape. I haven't even started school yet, and already one of my teachers hates me. Oh, if you'd only know. Well, I guess we won't find out this time around, will we? <laughs> That's oh well. true. After a bit of looking around, I found the way into the girls' dormitories and located my hall. There are nine doors in this hall, only one of which is labeled bathroom. If each bedroom has at least two girls in it, I hope that's a big bathroom. Yeah, it'd be kind of weird though, sharing a bathroom with people. Well, Whatever, I guess you don't really have much of a choice in schools like this. Yeah. My own letter informed me I would have two roommates, but didn't tell me their names or anything else about them. I haven't seen anyone wearing a horse insignia. All I can do is find my room and wait for them to show up. Here it is, room three. I open the door and pick up my suitcases. Walking inside, I find a fairly ordinary looking bedroom. No skulls or drippy candles or blacklight posters in the walls. No incense or crystals anywhere. Unless uh -oh. they just haven't had time to unpack yet. And you remember the big problem we have with our room here? <laughs> a girl who had been sitting on one of the beds stands up. Um, hello. You're a horse! <laughs> Always a great first impression with Horace. I, I didn't mean that the way it sounded. Hi, I'm Horace. Are you my roommate? One of them. I'm Ellen. That's Virginia's bed, but she went out to talk to somebody. Nice to meet you. Where are you from? Yeah, here we go. Two roommates and two beds. Um, where do we ha what do we have for ourselves? Because we're the, the third floor. person here. The floor. Or maybe sleep on the ceiling. I don't ah, know. We use magic. Be. That could be. Virginia. The state, I mean. I'm not sure where Virginia the girl is from. Ah, yes. That confusing part. I tilt my head. You don't have much of a southern accent. Thank God. It's not that far south, and my family wasn't from there. <laughs> yes, you can get away with not doing a southern accent. Yes. I really have to con contradict the character's uh, actual <laughs> state, though. Oh, well. What about you? New Hampshire, not too far from here. Are all those books yours? Yeah. There aren't any computers here, so I brought my old encyclopedias. What a bookworm. And those are textbooks for the classes I would be taking this year at my other school if I hadn't left. You must be a really good student. Not really. I probably won't even open them. But <laughs> I didn't know what I'd need, and I didn't want to need something and not have it. All right. Those books are everything I could find out about magic, the real kind, now that I know it's real. Yeah, isn't it great? We're going to be witches, just like in the movies. Uh, some of those movies aren't too well done, though. <laughs> I mean, have you seen the whole Harry Potter series? What about Hocus bit... Pocus? Hocus Pocus. Oh, those are awesome yeah. witches. Yeah, such a great movie. Great film. Hey, I love that movie shop. Hey. What, you didn't read that? Oh, I'm sorry. Well, it's just what was Wild oh, Seed Oh, good. You're a Wild Seed, too. What does Wild Seed mean? <laughs> See, look, you didn't even need to hang me. It means your parents weren't magic, so you're like a wild flower. She holds out her hand for me to shake. Me, my family's all magical, so I always knew I'd be a witch. I'm Virginia. She has a pretty strong grip. Horace, pleasure to meet you. Is it a problem being wild? I met a professor, and he was sort of rude about it. Yeah, well, that's the way he always is. A professor? Shaggy black hair, big nose? <laughs> yeah, I sort of bumped into him. Oh no, now you'll be on Grabby's blacklist. He's blacklisting people? The professor grabs girls? No, that's not what she said. No, that's his name, Professor Grabiner. He hates me. He hates everybody, so it doesn't make much difference. Don't worry about it. Nobody cares if you're a born witch or not. Not really. And everybody's scared of Grabby. He's a monster. William warned me about him. This might be slightly dumb, but I think I just got that pun now. Really? Grabbing her. Yeah. You, you just, you just got it. Yeah, I just got the grab part. That's what I thought the whole time. But then I got the grabbing her part. <laughs> like, oh, grabbing her. That's how she got confused. Cause I just went right over that line the first time around. Oh, I, I got it now. <laughs> Who's William? Oh, we're going to be hearing quite a bit about William now, aren't we? <sighs> My big brother. Bigger brother. He's a senior. Donald's a freshman like us. They're in Wolf Hall. But enough about boys. What sports do you play? What do you like? 
Mm. I like softball, but I'm better at volleyball. Good strong arms. Me, I prefer soccer. What about you, Horace? Um, I guess I'm mostly best at track. I like to run. Your legs, her arms, and my fighting spirit. We're the total package. Go horses! Yeah, go horses. Yay. Are there sports teams for wizards here? Not exactly. There's bounders, but that's not a real sport. <laughs> but there is a gym, and we can start our own sports teams if we have to. Right, Horace? Uh, all right. I you say so. I guess. Sorry, sorry. I'm rolling you over, aren't I? Yeah, you are. I'll let you unpack. Come on, Ellen. I'll introduce you to my brothers. Huh? Okay. Well, I guess it makes sense in this version that we go meet them, too. Let's meet them! I think we did that the first time. I want to meet them, too. The only wizard I've met so far was that horrible professor. I can unpack later. What about that first person we met? Oh, well. I hate unpacking, too. I made my mom do it. Shall we? Um, do you still want me to come? Why wouldn't I? Come on! Virginia leads us unerringly through the maze of school hallways to one of the boys' sections that looks exactly like the hall we were just in. Need a hand, ladies? No, I'm just looking for- Oh, no. Suddenly, a water balloon flies out of an open door and smacks into the side of Virginia's head. Donald! Yes, perfect shot. The two boys exchange high fives. This is my brother, Donald, the complete dork. You are going to be in so much trouble. Is he really that much of a dork? I don't think no. he ever did anything too dorky, but then again, we didn't hang out with him too much, so let's see. What are you going to do, Urchin? Tell Mom on me? She's not here. I don't have to do anything. You'll end up in detention by the end of the week just by being you. Probably. Look at me. I'm all wet. Well, you're a witch now, right? Magic yourself dry. Come on, Luke. Donald returns to his room, followed by the other boy who bumps into the door frame briefly on his way out of sight. Nice. <sighs> v, is that you? Hey, V. All moved in? It's my doppelganger. Are you wet? Thanks to Donald and his new best friend. Aw, poor thing. Here, let me. He holds out his hand and a gust of hot air blows through the corridor, melting away the droplets of water that clung to Virginia's hair. Aren't you going to introduce us? Right, guys, this is William, my good brother. The better brother. Virginia grabs Ellen's hand and drags her forward. And these are my new roommates, Ellen and Horace. Oh yeah, I forgot about the whole uh, Ellen and William thing. It gets a little bit awkward later. It's a pleasure to meet you. You too. You keep an eye on V now. She's a little scamp. She'll get you into trouble. Is that your nickname, V? Well, obviously, he keeps on calling her that. No, that's just what William calls me, which is better than what Donald calls me. I use my whole name. It's not that long. You kids should probably run along. Freshman orientation is tomorrow, and you'll have a busy week ahead of you. Not to mention initiation. Initiation? You'll find out. I suppose he's right. We should get back to our room. I still have to unpack. Tomorrow we start learning magic. Ooh, here we go. At 9 a.m. on Monday morning, all the freshmen are gathered in the gymnasium wearing capes and robes, just like me. But they're not completely like me. Of course. One boy has furry ears and a long, fluffy tail. Less like us. One girl has glittering wings. Less like us. And that girl looks like a vampire. She's just pale. Come on, give her a break. <laughs> Is that what it means to be a born witch? Being something other than human? Virginia looks normal, but she could be hiding something <laughs> under her robes. I remember that line. No, that's just silly. Yeah, that's pretty silly, Horace. The muttering and shuffling of students drops off as someone steps up to the podium. Oh, look who it is, our favorite witch. Hello, my little flower buds. So strange. Welcome to Iris Academy. I start to applaud, but freeze as I realize that no one else is doing it. <laughs> How incredibly awkward. Then Virginia beside me picks up the clapping loudly. Soon the whole room is cheering. Yeah, it's like uh, Battlestar. I probably mentioned that last time as well. <laughs> the witch holds up her hands and the room settles back into silence. My name is Professor Potsdam and I will be one of your instructors in the ways of magic. For some of you, this is the beginning of an adventure such as you have never imagined. For others, this is only the next step in a journey you have been expecting all your lives. At Iris Academy, we teach spelling using the pentachromatic system. Red magic is forceful, but not necessarily violent. Blue is the color of transformation and change. Green is the color of life in the world of plants and animals. White magic affects the mind and spirit, and black magic is contained within physical objects. There we go, so we got a little tutorial to remind us of that. that. 
Your palette should contain at least a few dabs of every magical color. But a beautiful painting doesn't need every shade. It's style that matters. And we've got style and spades. You all have different strengths, different talents. Here at Iris Academy, we embrace that diversity and tailor your education to your needs. Choose your schedule to focus your personal talents. Don't try to become a reflection of your classmates. Follow your own star wherever it may lead you. Quite the motivational speaker. That is the way in which you are all alike. You each have your own future, and I know you'll make us proud. Her starry-eyed way of speaking reminds me a little bit of my old school's guidance counselor. But she certainly <laughs> seems nicer than Professor Grabiner. I wonder which classes she teaches. Half of them. I know. You have been divided into halls to help you make friends with classmates who share similar interests. Really? Because we don't share anything the same with those two girls. For the girls, we have the adventurous Horus... <laughs> <laughs> Horuses. Okay, let's read that again. <laughs> For the girls, we have the adventurous horses, the charming butterflies, and the mysterious snakes. Yes, and all the horses are into sports <laughs> to varying degrees, though. But we're not really. We're just like, we, we only like do to track. run. <laughs> yeah, quite the, uh, well, it is an activity, but come on, it's not the same as every other sport. It's not like a sport. She just said she liked running. She didn't even say she wanted to, like, be on the team. She's like, I like mm. to run. <laughs> like, whatever. Each group claps as their name is called. Whoa, I did that in her voice. Each group claps as their name is called. The horse is louder than others. Or perhaps that's just because I'm sitting with more of them. You're just going to start talking like that throughout the day now. I know. For the boys, we have the daring wolves, the mm. elegant falcons, and the eldritch toads. The toads. I'm not sure what... Ugh. I'm not sure what eldritch means, but toads sounds even worse than snakes. I hope you'll all become good friends, not just in each hall, and not just in your year, but throughout the whole academy. But most importantly, I hope you'll get to know and trust your roommates, so that by the end of the year you're able to work as a team for your final exams. Oh, see, they do tell you over here about the final exam being a team-based thing. Mm. I guess you just forget about it later <laughs> on. Okay. Her face, her E.T. face. Oh yeah, she, I remember that she kind of looks like E.T. a little bit. Just a bit. Yeah, it's a little weird. Okay. And I know you're all looking forward to your exams, yes? Boo! The audience predictably groans. For testing purposes, your instructors will regularly set you practical challenges in school dungeons. The school has dungeons? Oh, you have no idea. Each task has many possible solutions. You will need to make creative use of the spells you have chosen to learn. So think ahead about what might be useful and how. Okay, are you all ready for magic? Open up your diaries and begin penciling in your schedule. Yeah, we got our magical diaries. I remember Chris asked me at one point what the magical diary and magical diary was, and it's actually that, which uh, it's like a little known fact. Oh, you want to read everything? Okay, hold on. I'll go back for you. Go <laughs> ahead. I need to choose which classes to attend this week. There are classes for each kind of magic plus general studying, which sounds boring, and gym class, which I've always liked. I can also schedule free time to relax and unwind. For most of my life, my classes have been planned out for me by my school. It wasn't until last year that I got to make any choices at all. Cantonese, French, or Spanish. Physics, chemistry, or biology. Still, everyone had to have the same number of classes and they all started and ended at the same time. You couldn't get out of it. If I can choose whatever schedule I want here, what would happen if I never went to class at all? Would they really let me get away with that? Okay, so the point of all that was we're free to choose wherever the hell we wanted at this point in the game. What should I do this week? But yeah, so uh, just a note. This is your magical diary here. That's what it was. I don't think we ever showed this off. Brothers. We might have. I'm not sure. But yeah. Magical diary. It's actually not that magical, but whatever. I guess you also get the spell portion of the diary, which is the magical part. Mm -hmm. But whatever. So, okay. That's our first part of the new Redux magical diary. Hope you guys are liking it so far. Pretty much the same as what we did the first time around. And I think quite a bit of it will be the same. But eventually we will get to Donald material. Mm -hmm. And that'll be fun. Yes, it will be fun. I'm glad you agree with I me. I always thought Donald seemed like a nice guy. Yeah, he's a good enough guy. We'll just see exactly what his story entails. I mean, I don't think it'll be as dramatic as Damien or Grabiner, but it'll still be fun, won't it? Mm-hmm. All right, so thanks for watching, everyone. And until next time, we'll see you later. Bye.